So this time itself is a kind of great, you know, additional investment time for the notion of finance. That's what I think about. So this is my portfolio allocation assets as of now. So total return since March 2019 is 946%. Then last week, I'm gonna new investment in Warning, Rooks, Motai, and IDIA, okay? Then these are my crypto assets currently investment in. Then these are my total investment return for each crypto assets. Then if you are interested, much more detailed information about my portfolio allocations and also my real time, buying and selling action for every single crypto assets, including ICO, IDO, and DeFi, Please think about to join my premium membership program, real time, buying and selling signal. The major purpose of this membership program to help you reach your crypto asset performance to my level here. So for my detail, please check out my video. And here's my video link, okay? Then let's start here, note, notion of finance. So notion of finance also started their liquidity mining program on a balancer. Pair is note and e tokens. Then current API is pretty high, over 100%. It's pretty attractive plan. They're planning to start, then they're gonna planning to continue this higher API program on the liquidity mining around for six months, from April to October in 2022. So if you are interested to gain large amount of node token, this time is great chance for you. Okay. Then additional key news updates. Notion of finance, FCash protocol launch. It's great. So here's a quotation from an article. Starting today, you can use Notion of finance, FCash as collateral when borrowing on an EAD protocol. You can use this to get leveraged exposure to FCash or to unlock liquidity of the FCash holdings by borrowing USDC or DAI. The initial loan to value ratio will be 90%. So get started today by visiting app eatportable.com. It's great. Then let me briefly tell you about you know, why this quarterization of the FCAS is quite a valuable model for the notion of finance. First of all, is this one. So FCAS system is a kind of core system for this daily protocol. So notion of finance, they're gonna achieve fixed interest rates. Also, fixed time model on the decentralized lending platform. Then, to achieve this fixed model here, they're gonna build FCAS as a bridge token system for their liquidity management. So, FCAS functions like a you know, mutual bridge currency to mitigate those variable interest rates on the lender side and borrower side. So, it's kind of great innovation on a DeFi space. But at the same time, those borrower or lender, they're gonna hold something out of Fcash, especially when they're not gonna change anything about their lending contracts. This Fcash itself, on the borrower side or lender side, kind of waste of money, asset allocation business stuff. That is why to increase liquidity on this Fcash system, they're gonna newly apply the collateralization of the Fcash system. Then with this model, both lender side, borrower side, you know, they can increase much more higher liquidity on a this is a decentralized fixed interest lending platform here. So I have a pretty big expectations for this new function here on the platform. It's great. Then as usual, note USDT daily chart here. Then it looks like, you know, higher APY liquidity mining program, we're gonna see strong bridge one on a notion of finance tokens. But usually those price move push back again on the reset, right? So, but to think about, you know, those FCash quarterization model, I'm going to see the pretty big expectation for the next product developments. Also, you know, traditional staff development staff on the notion of finance. So, this timing itself is a kind of great, you know, additional investment timing for the notion of finance. That's what I'm thinking about. The next one, RD DAO, AOD. So, key news updates. So, they got a new rerun, Brew Member Elections. Then, I also you know, join this, you know, new brew member election here. 
Mr. Masa, the three candidates here are the old player is finally elected to the new group member here. This is great. Then, the here, let me explain again about the detail about the r and project. So with this in a new election model, you know, board member itself is going up. So these are the initial board member, around 30 member here. Then newly three member join this program, join this board council, and then what are we gonna do? This board council member here, decentralized Berkshire Hathaway. As we know, a lot of investors, they're gonna form out portfolio management on Berkshire Hathaway because their portfolio is pretty sophisticated managed by these two players here. The Arden Dow wants to achieve decentralized version of the Berkshire Hathaway. So Arden itself attracts a lot of money into the treasury. Then we're gonna invest into these major crypto assets or DeFi solutions to maximize this treasury. Then once we're gonna get the investment return here, we're gonna allocate some of the investment return for these retail investors here. These investors, they're gonna stake the ALD token in this platform here. This is a basic token economics on this decentralized Baksha Hasa project. Then what's the ultimate goal for this project is this one. You know, we try to achieve the same things that we're gonna see like an internet. So internet, like, you know, Google and Amazon, Facebook, they're gonna disrupt TV industry. Then with the blockchain technology, we're going to do the same things on a financial industry because the older player in a financial industry is completely old fashioned one, out of date. So that is why RD now tried to develop fully decentralized Berkshire Hassan model by leveraging pretty scalable token kind of model. And with this model, as Peter Thiel said here, we don't need Warren Buffett anymore in this crypto asset investment industry. Okay, so that's why Aladdin Dao to me is still the one of the highest potential DeFi project in virtual space. Because Baksha Hasway is the highest market cap project on the existing financial industry. That's why. Okay. Then once we're gonna get the ALD USDT daily chart here, still not that quite a big move here. But let's pay attention to these price move here. Sometimes we're gonna see pretty strong bridge line here on LD tokens. I usually think that in this price move, in this price move, well investor put the money into LD tokens because this token price is extremely cheap right now. Okay. Then it's on define ETH markets. ETH market updates, number one. So no big change here. Comics finance, still number one but all player is negative these days. Then number two, no big change here. Young Finance still number one here, okay? Then last week, Rally Capital and Harvest Finance, both player is quite positive. Then next one, Define Insurance. So insurance market TV updates. This week, Armor, Nexus Mutual, both hits negative here. Then next one, Right of Finance. So right of finance these days is pretty aggressive to develop new DeFi solution by using their liquid staking tokens such as STEs and STSO. Then I always do think that on a car finance, liquid staking pool with the next biggest growth driver. That is why I'm gonna also see the pretty big potential for the right of finance. Then this one, right of USDT daily chart here. And currently they are testing EMA 200 as key support line here. Then if the Bitcoin price, we're gonna see the, another bearish trend here, probably they're gonna test EMA 75. Then think about you know, those market momentum, also this KDJ conversion trend here, if they're gonna test EMA 75, it's also great investment timing for the real finance. That's what I'm thinking about, okay? Then next one, so. Then last week, they're gonna successfully launch bonding voucher on their platform. Then this is how to use bonding voucher. Then I'm gonna see pretty good potential for these solutions. First of all, let's take an example about the you know, DeFi and DVT case. Their current price is 0.4 dollar 
Protaka in March 1st, 2022. And first of all, DBT need to characterize their DBT token on the Solar Protocol NFT marketplace. They're going to list DBT bonding voucher by using their new NFT technology. Then here's the contract of this NFT voucher. APR is 12% because it's a bonding contract, like a corporate bond. Then interest rates are you know, 6% in USDC and 6% is DBT. The historic price is two times over the present price, means 0.4 times 2, so 0.8 per token, right? Then duration three months, so May 31st, starting from March 1st, okay? Then amount of they're gonna rise is 3 million USD. Then once you're gonna vote, you know, this DVT bonding voucher contract, here's the result you're gonna see, you know, three months later. So once price hit higher than 0.8, means investor gets DVT at 0.8. Now, why are you going to get the benefits from here? Because once the DVT token price hit 1.1 or 1.5 dollars or so, still you're going to receive DVT token price is at 0.8 on May 31st. So, compared with actual market price, you're going to get the discount token from here. That's why it's a great benefit for you. But if the price hit lower than 0.8, still you can protect your assets because investor get principal means how much money you're gonna invest in, such as you know 5k USDC plus 12% interest rates. That's why still you're gonna maintain lower risk management with the solutions. I think this solution itself also is gonna be a great alternative for early stage working startups who are thinking about the IDO. That's why this is great. Okay. Then this one, decentralized CDN. P2P CDN, no development updates. Helium network, plus 2.6%. Serial network, almost no change. And the Guardian node, enterprise node, also no change still. The enterprise node hit 23. 3K, 471. The ESP chain, plus 2.4%. Airweave, plus 5.6%. Capacity is 60 terabytes and used. 39 gigabytes. Sierra coin plus 6.9 percent. Capacity 7.19 petabytes. They used 2.5 petabytes. They break 5 point, no change. Then it's on B2C, B2B DAPS market updates. So, key news updates. Matter discussing creating tokens for Facebook metaverse reports. So, DM may be gone. But the Facebook pairing company Meta is reportedly exploring other type of tokens and it built at the Metaverse. But simply say, I think probably it's quite difficult for the Facebook. The reason is they are already public company, so they cannot build pretty scalable and also the integrating with the DeFi solutions type of token. It's seriously difficult for them to develop such kind of tokens. So even they're gonna release some token. I don't think it's going to be a competitive one compared with you know, existing you know, tokens on virtual space, such as e-tokens. Okay, so that's what I'm thinking about. Okay. Then next key news updates. Pantora Capital sets out to store to rise new 200 million fans. Great. More and more money coming into crypto space. This is great. Then additional lady news, this one. Crypto venture capital firms see surging assets under management. It's great. Here's a quotation from an article. The asset under management figure for Web3 crypto investment firm Paradigm has recently been revealed. The findings show that the firm has 13.2 billion in assets, a growth of 343% compared to the 2.98 billion reported in a filing in December 2020. Again, more and more money coming to crypto sales. Great. Then next one, NFT crypto rankings, sales volume, seven days versions, then no big change here on this market here. Yeah. Then from here, that's top 15, first category is game. Then RC Infinity, top sevens. Then Pegasi on Polygon, out of ranking this week. Okay. Then next one, NFT marketplace. OpenSea, still number one. Magic Eden on Swanner, number two and Asi Marketplace, number three. Then this week, Jam, 
time to be number five from number 10, great progress. Then looks to there, number 14. Okay. Then daily train volume comparisons between looks clear and open C. So interesting point is you know, still they're gonna falling up entire crypto market momentum. So if the entire crypto market tend to be bearish, their stats also going down. But the, once we can look at you know those bearish trend, open C bearish trend much stronger than looks clear because the looks clear are still maintaining a little bit higher than 100 million. You see this one here. Okay. Then next category, social. Still steamy, number one. No big change here. Then next one, others. Atomic assets, still number one. Okay. All right, so this is the last slide. Hodo is the best for the retail investor to minimize the risk and maximize the return. Because investment in crypto assets, just like investment in early days of Google and Facebook, then once we can look at the legendary angel investor transaction, such as Long Conway, Peter Thiel, Lee Roman, all the time, they're gonna take the simple investment approach. It's a long-term investment. But here is another evidence for the balance of church. This is a Bitcoin case, and the longest hold of the Bitcoin also must have the investment return. In this case, plus 220%. Much larger number than other short-term ones here. So I'm gonna also basically take the long-term investment approach. So I'm gonna also recommend you guys to take the same approach too, okay? All right, so that is all this time. So I'm gonna make this video for educational purpose. So I'm not gonna guarantee you any kind of certain level investment outcome with this video or any video that I make. But I truly hope that my video will partly help you guys understand about high potential about crypto and space. So I'm gonna make a lot of this video on crypto and space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.